too. They are fun and soothing to pet. They are full of affection. In a sense, they are healers. Animals are, especially in a nursing home. And I was told, kids here, I was told that those dogs have to go to school in order to learn to be volunteers in that place. And so the subject this morning is animals, and in particular, I want to talk about a dog. Not just any old dog. I want to talk about Spot. A dog who will serve nicely, I think, to teach us about God this morning. About our relationship to God. By the way, I asked my granddaughter Maddie here what uh, what you get when you spell dog backward, backwards, and you know what she said, kids? Uh, what do you get when you spell dog backwards? You get God. Well, isn't that something? I suggest that there's a very close relationship when you do that, and so let's put them together and see what we get in the way of doggyology this morning. Spot is short for Ink Spot, by the way, so named because he was a black cocker spaniel who was very furry and very affectionate <laughs> and belonged to a friend of mine named John Bodo. And here's what John Bodo said. You could call it a parable. If you listen closely, this is just like a parable. He said, Spot is my dog and I order his life. Of course, I do not control him in every way, like a puppet or something. A big truck or even a little VW bug could come along and bring a premature death or hurt. This is what insurance companies call an act of God, even when it involves a dog, even though it isn't an act of God, just like a fire isn't. Anyway, going on, does Spot know that he's my dog, do you think? Of course he does. He does. He certainly expresses an awareness of me, as well as a wide range of feelings for me, which I see expressed in his face, his eyes, his tail, feelings which range from joy and love and affection to trusting, sometimes sort of questioning, sometimes blissful, sometimes looking a little guilty. I'm willing to bet, though, that Spot's perception of me and of our relationship corresponds only dimly to my perception of myself and my relationship to him. For example, I'm convinced that Spot exists for my sake and that he is my dog. But I am just as certain that in Spot's mind, I exist for him. And that my major task in this world is to feed him and play with him and care for him even sometimes discipline him, but above all, to pay attention to him. In all other respects, Spot lives a dog's life. Not in a world that has gone to the dogs, mind you, the way we perceive it once in a while, but a world made up of a lot of stuff. Other dogs, fire hydrants, lamp posts, the neighbor's yard, cats, birds, and bones. In other words, he can easily be distracted and perhaps sometimes even obstinate. How can I explain to Spot what's really happening when I take him to the vet, say for a shot? I can't. Spot is able to relate to me, but my ways are higher than his ways and my thoughts higher than his thoughts. He can't think with my mind.
completely nor understand all the things that happened to him. <laughs> Spot cannot share his thoughts with, uh, with mine equally any more than I am able to share completely with him everything about me. We communicate for sure, but he'll never know me completely. One thing I'm sure has not occurred to Spot is that notion that I don't exist, that I'm only an illusion. Spot's inability to figure me out in my language has not discouraged his attempts, however, to do so in his own limited language. But his ability to find me out completely has never led him to the absurd conclusion that I only exist in his fuzzy little mind. Because here's the thing, Spot knows my presence, even though he cannot fathom me fully. All my power and grandeur, completely. So what keeps Spot in his right mind and spirit? I believe that it is, his, it is his fondness for sitting at my feet, chin on his front paws, quietly, sometimes sleepily, sometimes barking loudly, but experiencing my presence, baffling sometimes, but on balance, a presence that testifies to my existence and to his own existence in life beyond a dog's life. Spot knows, I am sure, that my being does not stand or fall on his perception of me. He is able to worship me without having to know me fully. And even when I take him to the vet for the last time, while primer, yeah. primal fear even, or deep fatigue, veil his large spaniel eyes, Spot will know, even then, especially then, whose he has been, and whom he has loved, and to whom he belongs. Thus endeth the lesson, according to the world of, dog, of dogology and the God we know and love in Jesus Christ. Amen. Will you please stand as we sing together the hymn, Ferris.